So this is the lyrical art journal that I'm working in, where I've just gessoed over some of the pages. And for this I'm using the Gansai Tambi watercolors because they are kind of weird. They dry, kind of sticky and strange, almost like um, some kind of ink even. And so when I'm working on really cheap papers or surfaces that don't take watercolor, I like to use these because they build up a little bit easier lay on each other really thick. It's kind of weird. But I am still working on gesso, so it's not going to be like a huge watercolor experience. You'll notice that this page is covered in scrawlings, and that's one thing that art journals are really good for, because you know you're just going to like mess with them. Um, if I'm having a day, <laughs> if I want to go to sleep but I can't because there's too many thoughts, or I've just been like stressed out, or like upcoming deadlines, you're just like overwhelmed by something. I really like to just sit down and scrawl it out in these books as messy as possible. It's kind of like morning pages from the artist's way, where you're just kind of emptying your brain out so that you can make space for actual productive thought. But these are things that I'm writing that I don't want to keep around. I intended to be writing out all of my fears just to get them out of my head, but what came out were actually pep talks, which I thought was kind of weird. Or like, I'm terrible at this, but actually I accomplished this exact thing that I, that I feel like I can't do. So it's kind of, it was kind of an interesting expecting to write down negative things that I didn't want to keep around, but they all came out like positive things. It was so weird. <laughs> I just wanted to talk about that as like a suggestion of what to uh, do if you really don't know what to do on your first page of an art journal or something. And just as a reminder, this art journal includes lyrics. The whole theme of the thing is, you know, the tired old childhood drama that we all have. But this lyric is kind of neat because, you know, it talks about like when you have something that never leaves you. There's always these thoughts in the back of your mind that will always just be there. Like little hurdles in your journey for the rest of your life. But it also kind of reminded me of a story that totally stuck with me. When we were in high school, my friend once lent me this little folk tale anthology book. I think it was called devils and demons or something like that and it just contained a bunch of folk tales from different places about little demons that people believed in and there was this one story where everyone's walking around with a tiny little demon on the back of their head hiding and its goal is to get to your ear so that it can whisper disgusting and evil horrible things into your ear to make you like do bad things or think terrible things and every time you get a tiny little itch on the back of your head that's him running across trying to get to your ear to tell you something and every time you reach back to scratch that itch you're scaring him away to try again another day and the story like proposed that there's always a situation where you won't be able to scratch your head in time like your hands would be full or you just aren't able to and that's when horrible things happen and people do bad things and that story really f***ed me up. <laughs> I got pretty spooked for a while there after that one. So I wanted to throw in a little bit of imagery as a throwback to that story that completely sealed itself in my brain forever. And I think it kind of really fits with the context of the lyrics and everything. It's not super detailed, but you know, that's what art journaling is for. It's just for having fun and expressing yourself. Not for fancy pictures and original art and, and stuff like that. You just play. And again, I'm still kind of struggling with adding lots of detail to these pages to make it look actually interesting and like finished and complete and stuff, but this is good. I think adding text really helps a lot. Yeah, thanks for watching. I'm hoping the next one will be a vlog. Um, I'm waiting for my stuff to come in the mail so I can make calendars and art booklets and stuff because that will be fun and I can't wait. Thanks for watching. I'll see you then.